Mad Zook Joe, and this is Mad Zook Joe's Perspective. All right, so uh, I want to talk today a little bit in the physical realm, and uh, it actually evolves into the cognitive and to the uh, effective areas of our, of our brains. And I want to talk, so it can, it can drill into the spiritual, the physical, and the cognitive in the four pillars of Mad Zook. Walking uh, could argumentatively not really help the marshal, but uh, I suppose you could say it, it, it can condition you a little bit for uh, some, some better physicality for, for marshal. All right, so um, walking outside. So there's tr the top benefits for walking outside are, are probably um, that you're not aware of, that someone hasn't mentioned to you yet, maybe they have, is increased creativity. So when you walk outside, you're going to see other activity. So your mind, your subconscious, your neurological uh, intake is going to be at a higher level. And if you start to train your mind while you're walking physically to process neurologically these senses that you're coming, you, you might remember I, I touched on uh, uh, advanced sensory perception, right? So if we start to train ourselves to understand what we're seeing, hearing, feeling, smelling, Maybe there's that taste in the air, you know, uh, you walk past a, you know, a, a nice shawarma stand, you know, mm -hmm, I smell and get that little taste in my mouth already, because you'll start to form these associations, all right? So um, the creativity is going to increase, and you can use this creativity for a positive development of your neurological and physiological function connectivity, all right? So that's number one. Number two. We all know that it helps with burning calories and, uh, and, and weight loss and, and, and blood flow and, and this type of stuff, but, but what, you, what you might not understand is the, the increase in the blood flow that, that goes to the brain and helps stimulate the, the functioning of your other organs, all right? So um, it doesn't just improve your heart rate. By improving your heart rate, you're actually improving your breathing rate. You're improving uh, your blood flow, and so you're thereby improving what's called your VO2 max. All right, so you're you're going to uh, improve both endurance and your breathing rate. So once again, don't just walk and breathe as it comes to you. Walk and control your breath, and learn exactly what to do to control your breath. All right, another big one for outside, especially if you're uh, anywhere in the sunshine, is vitamin D, baby, vitamin D. All right, so we all need this vitamin D to improve our immune system. And uh, our immune systems need to be optimal anyway. So to tell you all, oh, make your immune system optimal because of COVID, a little bit of horseshit and a little bit of people just kind of ad living, you know, because you should have your immune system optimized regardless of COVID because you never know what's going to happen to you. And don't look now, but there was many illnesses, many viruses, many bacterial illnesses that you could catch way before COVID came along. So uh, be mindful of these things, all right? So use your breath. Get your vitamin D, <clears throat> practice your neurological associations, all right? Be sure to do these on your outdoor walk. Um, you know, try to walk new places because it stimulates new synapse, new neuro functionality because that processing will be different if I'm walking around. So there's a dam here called Bangwa Dam and there's many people walk around. The people walking around Bangwa Dam aren't the same people walking around another popular walking spot here in Phuket, Naiharn Lake. So they're not the same, they're different people. There's a stadium, there's uh, a park in Phuket Old Town, in the, in the Old Town area called uh, Sua Luang, right? So all the people walking are different. So you're gonna get different associations. You're gonna see different environmental issues. You're gonna have different terrain. And you're gonna start to process different sensory memory and you're gonna create associations, all right? Get your vitamin D, get your breath work in, and use your neurons. Madzook Joe. This is Madzook Joe's Perspective. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you all. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the next one.